In this episode, we are going to have a walk through the Parque de la Represa, past the old castle and into the old quarter of Marbella in Spain's Costa del Sol. We will have a look at what to expect, what it costs, how to get there, and should it be on your holiday itinerary plan. Stick around until the end, we will be looking at other attractions nearby and a sneak preview of the next episode. If you are traveling to Marbella by bus, then the park is a short walk down from the main Marbella bus station, and where the park ends the old town begins. If you are traveling by car then this is the best place for free parking in Marbella on both sides of the park. This was correct in September 2022. As you know things can change. The park was constructed in 1993, on an old river bed that had been dammed off, hence the name Dam Park. It is a a large narrow park and features two artificial ponds, one with a large water column and a children's playground, sports tracks. Along one side of the park is the stone walls of what remains of a Moorish castle that once protected the area. Let's have a look. There are multiple entrances to the park, and it's free to walk around. At the center is a suspension bridge that connects the old town to the newer neighborhoods. It takes around 30 minutes to walk through, taking in the surrounding area. As you walk down past the bridge, you will see the walls to the old Castillo de Muraya on the right-hand side, and that's all that is left of this once defensive position, there is no castle to walk around. If you follow the castle walls you will enter the old town of Marbella. The castle is situated at the top of the city's old quarter, it was built in the 9th century, was modified during the 15th century for the use of artillery. A walk around the old quarter is highly recommended, it's probably the best attraction in Marbella. So is the Parque de la Represa worth a look around? I would say only if you intend to park there. But it is one of the best places to park for the old town. A few minutes walk from the old town is the Avenida del Mar, which has a collection of sculptures by the Spanish artist, Salvador Dali. Across from that is the promenade and the port. All worth a visit. If you have been here leave a comment below and share your experience. Good, bad, or ugly. If you have found this video enjoyable and useful then please subscribe to my channel, there's loads more videos on the way in and around the Costa del Sol. Also have a look at my website for more information on this incredible part of Spain. In the next episode I will be having a look at Parque de Botaria or Battery Park in Torre Molinos, one of the best parks on the Costa del Sol. So watch out for that. But for now adios. And thanks for watching.